This is why I pick affiliate marketing over influencer marketing for your brand almost any day of the week. Hi everyone, I'm John Timmerman and I talk about the world's most exciting brands and marketing trends so that both you and I can grow our business faster and more efficiently. Today we're talking about affiliate marketing versus influencer marketing. Now the sole reason that I would pick affiliate marketing over influencer marketing is because it's more trackable and oftentimes you can do influencer marketing when you're doing affiliate marketing. Let me explain. Okay, so let's picture you are a startup, right? You don't have a lot of historical sales. Maybe you only have a little bit of social proof, you know, good reviews on your product, things like that, right? One track you could take is you could start working with influencers to expand the brand. When you do this, though, you're spending thousands of dollars to get an influencer to work with you, and you're relying on their community being super engaged engaged enough that they trust everything that they say, even the products that they recommend like yours. Okay. So you do this and then you hope that the people in the audience are in the right place at the right time, hearing the right message in order to then go and buy the product through that influencer. And most likely it will happen, but you're spending a lot of money up front to get the brand out there and to get that exposure out there. Let's look at this scenario a different way. Let's say you start with affiliate marketing and you reach out to the same influencers and you also reach out to a lot of blogs out there that are talking about the industry that your product belongs in or is in, right? And you strike up an affiliate relationship with them. You give them 10 or 20% of the products that they sell. Uh, in a lot of cases, if your product isn't super expensive, you send them a product so that they can test it and they can use it and look at it and you enter an affiliate relationship with them, you give them the 20% of the sale, and then they go ahead and try the product, they put it in their blog, they put it in their videos, and then they recommend it, and they say, click on the link in my profile, you'll get a 10% discount. They get 20% of the sale, the customer gets a 10% discount. You don't pay anything up front. Now, convincing bigger influencers to do this is gonna be challenging because they're used to getting paid. But convincing smaller influencers, nano and micro influencers to do this, if you have a really good product, is not that hard to do. It just takes a lot of messaging and, and a, a good convincing message, right? A, a lot of outreach, I should say. Email outreach, DMs, uh, sometimes phone calls, right? And convincing them that you're a good product. But when you're doing this, you are inherently working with an influencer, and so if they want to really sell that product, if they want to recommend that product to their audience such that you're getting inbound sales from affiliate links, then you're, they're going to be influencing. They're going to be creating content. They're going to become an influencer, not just an affiliate marketer. So the reason why affiliate marketing in my book most of the time is much more a, a, a attractive place to start than just pure influencer marketing is because it's a pay for performance model. You're only paying commissions on the sales that are made to those, uh, to those affiliates. And you can back into influencer marketing when you find the best affiliates because the best affiliates are gonna be driving revenue. You can then reach out to those affiliates and say, you know what? You've been so great. You've been driving tens of thousands of dollars in sales, and we'd love to continue working with you. We can A, either increase your commission to go even harder, or B, we can start paying you for additional content that we'd like to use as UGC uh, you know, or our, our own content, right? So if you go affiliate marketing, you get a pay for performance model. You don't have to pay as much up front. You can identify the best affiliates just purely by the results that they're getting. And then you can decide to invest in those affiliates to become a more permanent part of your influencer network or even brand ambassadors. If you go influencer marketing, you're going to have to test the influencers by paying them up front in most cases. Uh, and you don't know whether they're going to deliver actual sales or really believe in your product, right? It's a more of a trial and error. So if you're a startup, Affiliate marketing in most cases is a, is a better place to start, okay? Even if you're an established brand and you then back into influencer marketing rather than the other way around, which is how most brands treat it.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, make sure you share it within your marketing departments uh, to anybody in other companies that are in the marketing departments you think this would be valuable for. Uh, and if you really like my content, subscribe. Uh, I feel like that saying is overused. Subscribe to my video. Like, obviously you're gonna subscribe if you like it. So subscribe if you like it. Uh, and you know by now that I have a performance marketing agency. It's called Good Monster. If you need help with your marketing, just head over to thegoodmonster.com and my team would love to talk to you about your options or if you're even a good fit. So thanks so much. See you in the next video.